this is the brand new Doji V20 Pro, an extremely rugged mobile phone running Android 12. Now the box contents include a USB cable extender, a USB-C cable, and of course the mains charger, along with the manual and some warranty documentation. Now the first thing that strikes me when opening the box is the size and feel of this V20 Pro. It just feels so good, but more about that later. Now other features include support for two nano SIM cards or one nano SIM and one micro SD card. The onboard RAM comes in at 20 gigabytes with an internal 256 gigabytes of storage, which can be expandable up to two terabytes via a micro SD card. Now the CPU is a Dimensity 700 with eight cores running at 2.2 gigahertz. Now early tests show this octa-core CPU is a real workhorse and makes most applications run with a breeze. The screen is a 6.4 inch AMOLED running at FHD+, providing a crisp and clean picture to its user. Now Bluetooth 5.2 along with 2.4 and 5G Wi-Fi is supported along with most of the major cell networks being built in. Now NFC is supported for paying things like your groceries instead of using your debit card, which is perfect in case you forget to take your wallet or your purse. OTG support is also included, so attaching those third-party USB devices won't be an issue. Now it appears that there's no wireless charging, which is a bit of a disappointment, but the charging port is USB-C, so we can be thankful for that. No more dodgy micro USB sockets which go faulty. Now the Doji V20 Pro comes in two colors, either silver or black. The one shown in this video is the black version although this one has the metal sides. The plastic protective housing features an inbuilt stand which just pulls out like this, perfect for watching movies or playing games with the screen at the right angle. Now talking of gaming, with games that are CPU and GPU intensive, such as Call of Duty Mobile, it handles really well, whether you're playing using the touchscreen or using a wireless remote control. Now the colors are vibrant and crisp, something which cannot be portrayed fully while recording with another camera. Now in this clip, I'm using an Xbox Elite 2 wireless controller connected via Bluetooth to the V20 Pro. There's no input lag and the game feels very responsive while playing against computer AIs or playing online against other players. The 64 megapixel rear camera can take fairly decent photos and with manual settings within the camera app, exposure and various settings can be altered to suit your needs. Now movie recording using the rear camera at 2K 30 frames per second looks like this. Now up close, color and resolution looks pretty good. Focus can be changed on the fly while recording just by tapping the screen at the focus point you want. A quick pan across the fields, we have the original on the left and slight color correction on the right. So any missed colors can of course be adjusted in post-production. Now the time-lapse feature is fairly usable and what's nice is the converted movie time is shown on the screen. So no more guessing how long your time-lapse video will eventually be. Now the V20 Pro also has a dedicated GPU powered thermal camera and a dedicated app makes it easy to use. With various different settings, one of them is to show actual temperature of the subject that you're pointing the camera at. In fact, more than one point can be measured at the same time with the temperature displayed on screen. Now what's advertised in the V20 Pro specification is that thermal imaging is possible up to one kilometer, meaning this thermal imaging camera has a higher resolution than compared to others that we've seen in the past. Now 24 megapixel night vision is also a feature of the V20 Pro, which can capture great monochrome pictures even in the pitch black. Now here in this video demonstration, I was outside and was literally pitch black, only using the screen on the V20 Pro to navigate my way around. So I was quite glad it actually works. So let's lastly talk about the battery. Now it's advertised as a massive 6,000 milliamp hour battery that will last for two to three days when used in a general manner. Now it has 18 days standby and 28 hours continuous cooling 
The V20 Pro battery is definitely one of the longest lasting that I've recently seen. Now this product is set for a June the 12th premiere launch, meaning you can get a big discount on this product. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to know more information or if you want to bag one of these yourself. Until the next video, take care. See you in the next one.